Akash, please play the talk of Dr. Ejnar. Hello, my name is Ajanor Mafraneto. I'm here to talk about innovations in semi-chemical technology and growing market presence globally. Agriculture is a major activity around the world and 70% of a grower's budget is for agrochemical inputs and row crops use 70% of the uh, agrochemicals produced around the globe for crop protection. Let's take a look at semi-chemical insecticides, including pheromones. So, semi-chemical insecticides are usually devices, monolithic dispensers that are usually hand-applied. They have a lot of AI inside that formulation, and they cost extremely large amount of money for the grower, between $100 to $500 per hectare to protect the crop against a single species. These semi-chemical devices or these conventional formulations, they promote mainly disruptions through a mechanism called camouflage. Camouflage is extremely expensive in terms of pheromones because it needs to create this cloud of uh, pheromones over the entire area being protected. And then, so when males fly around that area, they cannot find either females or uh, different uh, semi-chemical formulations that are in the field. So that's called camouflage. So the problem with conventional formulations is that they use camouflage to protect the field, and that's extremely expensive to the grower. All these problems with formulations they create this very small niche market for semi-chemicals around the globe. For example, you look at Lymantar Dispar and Cidiopomonella, two of the most successful formulations around the globe, and each one has about 200,000 hectares of sales a year. And when you look at Cidiopomonella, this sale is extremely pulverized. The coddling market in the U.S., is a $26 million a year market disputed by 24 products registered at the EPA right now. And it's very competitive and pulverized. The global pesticide market is completely different. There are $78 billion distributed in 10 companies that do 90% of the global sales. The insecticides market alone is worth $16 billion. What are the successful conventional insecticides? They are usually short-lived applications. They last for a day or a couple of weeks at most. They are mechanically applied. They use small amounts of AI. They are inexpensive to the grower. They cost between $5 to $35 per hectare. And one product can target many different species in many different commodities. And it's not only used preventative, but it's also used reactively to control populations in the field. The biggest problem with these insecticides is the impact that these insecticides have in the lives of all these different non-target organisms, including humans, creating a huge problem, environmental problem globally. Some of these conventional insecticides are extremely lucrative. Let's take the case of Cyazapir. There was a time that Cyazapir was selling $1.8 billion a year. And that's because Cyazapir can be used for white fly, leaf miners, fruit flies, moth, uh, everything, everything in all these different commodities. One company 
one product, $1.8 billion a year. The contrast between conventional insecticides and semi-chemical insecticides is tremendous. What is the bottleneck of the semi-chemical pesticide market? For us to expand the semi-chemical pesticide market, we need to make semi-chemical solutions easy for the grower, easy to apply, an easy concept to understand. We need to make it inexpensive and efficient at any time. In our effort to expand the semi-chemical pesticide market, we created several innovations that are put in this formulation uh, matrix is called SPLAT. They are flowable, biologically inert, biodegradable matrices that are organic and they can be applied very inexpensively in the field at any time. These formulations can be applied mechanically or manually. Mechanical application of semi-chemical pesticides allowed us to expand tremendously the market. We also use a completely different method of mating disruption, which is competitive attraction, where you have a male, a female synthetic plume, and the males go to the synthetic plumes instead of the female, and that's the way that you can control the population by increasing manipulation time of the male in this synthetic point sources. One of the first examples of us expanding the semi-chemical pesticide market was when we created this product called Splat GM to control gypsy moth or Lymantra dispar using mating disruption. We designed the Splat GM for the USDA Forest Services to use in the slow the spread program that uses mating disruption to limit the expansion of the gypsy moth over the infested area in the United States. Before we introduce Splat GM to the program, the gypsy moth program was using this plastic flakes for mating disruption that use about 40 to 70 grams of active ingredient disparlor per hectare. We introduced Splat GM that promoted the same level of mating disruption as the Splat Flakes using only 13 grams of AI per hectare. Splat GM has been a tremendous success for the area-wide program of the U.S. government since 2008. To make semi-chemical pesticides more competitive, we are making pheromones less expensive by producing large-scale synthesis, cell biofactors, and bringing new innovation to protect these molecules in the field so they last longer and buy different. There's a lot one can do with mating disruption, but remedial control is not one of those things. We can use attract and kill to eliminate the pest from the field. Both males and females can be attracted to synthetic emitters with insecticide that they manipulate and that causes them to die. When we think about row crops, we think about soybeans. Soybeans have a very small budget for insecticide crop protection, and but nevertheless they are representative of 70% of the total market of uh, insecticides globally. And they have numerous Lepidopter pests per season. So a viable attract and kill pheromone solution is really difficult, but not impossible. But what we decided to do was to create an attractant semiochemical that brings the moth to the point source, makes the moth feed on the formulation, and we attract the phagostimulant and the insecticide, the moth dies. This formulation is called Noctovi. Noctovi is mixed with 2% of an insecticide and is applied at 500 grams per hectare in a single line. These applications of Noctovi attracts many different species of moths, 
causing them to feed and die, including fall armyworm, helicover parmesia, pseudocludes includings, and others. And the result is that the grower has a much better yield. For example, in corn, the extra yield gives growers $290 per hectare extra every year. In cotton, it's basically $1,000 per hectare of extra yield. This is a tremendous success. Today, Noctovia is being distributed and sold globally and is applied to row crops in many different areas and in some places is also being used in specialty crops, especially vegetables. In conclusion, to be competitive, Visca has been developing semi-chemical pesticides that are mechanically applied. They are efficient at any time, usually with attract and kill. They can be preventative or remedial. Noctovi and the products that we produce are very competitive because they have the same cost as in a single insecticide application. With our platform technology, we created several different formulations that allow us to get into the markets. They control release, they are mechanically applied. We can have products that are flowable and they are conducive to organic registration. Thank you for your time.